Hi Virgo, I am here to do your weekly reading for you, so let's get started. This first group of cards is going to be the energy that is going to be your overriding energy this week. One that is going to most likely influence whoops, your entire week and we had one fly out. It's a gorgeous card. This is the Nine of Earth. Enjoying the fruits of your labors, hard work that has led to a luxurious life. Buying yourself something special, happily and successfully self-employed. Or enjoying your solitude. So this is going to have an influence over your week. And that's a very nice energy. Okay, now this pile is one that might be something you need to learn, something you need to pay attention to, you know, something could be a lesson. It could just be something that needs your attention. Okay. A little bit more. Okay. Oh me, oh my. Temptation. So that is something that you are going to need to keep your eye out for potentially this week. Not saying it's a definite, but might need some attention. You might be tempted by something or be around somebody who's tempted by something. All right. Now let's see what the spirit animals have to tell you that will be with you this week. Learn from the past. Okay. There we go. So. Enjoying the fruits of your labors. This is your overriding energy, which is a beautiful energy. Either you or somewhere around you, there will be temptation potentially that needs to be addressed. It might not happen. It's just a possibility. And the elephant spirit is saying, you need to learn from your past. Okay? And something to notice is there's a 25 and a 15, so there's two fives. All right? So let's take some cards and see what we get. You have the Eight of Swords. And what this is saying is that there's something that is bothering you. They're thoughts. Thoughts can come from things. Thoughts can be fears. It can be anything that is creating some negative thoughts in your life. And it might be to the point that you feel bound and blindfolded, like there's really not a lot you can do. But I can tell you what you need to do. These are loose bindings. You need to take these bindings off, take off that blindfold, and look at these swords, see what they are. They are kind of surrounding you. So it is something that I would say would be um, prevalent in your life this week. Take a look at them and see what they are. Deal with them. And get rid of them. This could be the temptation. Okay. And um, sometimes, even if it is a fear or, you know, negative thoughts, and I say, just get rid of them, I do realize that sometimes that can be really challenging to do. But it's in your best interest to just kick those to the curb, deal with them, and well, process them. You know, if it's something that makes you very sad, work through it. But whatever you do, you need to take these and remove them from your life. Okay? Let's see what else we get. Whoa, we have a couple that just slid right out. Oh, and one more thing to say about this. 
sometimes thoughts, you know, it's how you're framing them, how you're thinking about them. You can have something that is a neutral, for example, and you can put a different spin on it to where it becomes a positive or a negative. So that is a possibility too, that something's going on that really doesn't have the meaning that you're attaching to it. Just thought I'd mention that. So, you know, take a, an objective look, not one that has emotions attached to it, and see what this is. Okay? And we had three cards fill out, so the universe gets what the universe wants. <laughs> we were going to take two more, but we're taking three more. The one at the bottom was the Knight of Wands. And Knights, of course, are the hardest working cards in the deck. And the Knight of Wands, I think he, this energy is really pretty fascinating because it's filled with energy, passion, motivation, and enthusiasm. And if it's you, it's you, you are channeling that energy through your inspired action. Fueled by ambition and confidence, you are here to make things happen. So I think that's a wonderful energy. And the card that came up next is the Nine of Pentacles. And guess what that is? Nine of Earth. See the pentacles on, along the fence there? Same card. So this is the universe's way of saying I meant what I said. And this is a beautiful energy. It is one where you are very content and very abundant. It's a solitary energy, but you're very happy. And so this does not match this very well, does it? No. And then the last one that came out was the Six of Swords. And what that is saying is you are moving away from some place that is not serving you into some place where your happiness lies. So this is a good energy to me because you're aware of something that is not making you happy. And you're going away from it. And from the cards that are out here, the only one that I could see that that would apply to is this one, which would be very good. Maybe you are addressing these thoughts or reframing them or whatever you're doing, you're taking care of them. So if that's what it is, you're putting them in the correct perspective or getting rid of them, which will make you much, much happier. Okay? And at the bottom of the deck... We have the Queen of Swords. And now the Queen of Swords, she is um, like the no-nonsense queen. She really doesn't um, want much to do with nice cities or, you know, the... What is that word? Um, etiquette? <laughs> she just wants to get straight to the point. She's all about the facts. Facts, facts, facts. She wants the truth. And that's all she wants. Okay, she's very determined, resilient, and smart. And she does think more than she feels. And she likes to get straight to the point. All right? And it is possible that maybe you are adopting this energy for a time. Not that this is who you are, but maybe you're taking this on. To deal with this. Remember I said something about remove yourself emotionally and just look at it objectively and deal with the facts. So maybe that's what this is about. It doesn't have to be, but it would make sense. This has an influence over these. And so if, the, if you have something that's bothering you, looking at it objectively and moving away from how you perceive it or the thoughts themselves. Because when you get rid of this, you turn around and there's your castle, which is your happiness. That is your nine of pentacles, this card right here. And remember, this is the one that's kind of overriding this week. So that would be perfect. 
Okay, now let's take a few more cards. Oh, and also, like I mentioned already, this temptation card could be related to this. You know, um, sometimes it is very easy to see things through a lens if you're already in a like a frame of mind, say you're upset about something and something comes along that's, you know, might be a neutral thing, but since you're already in a certain frame of mind, you know, it might kind of go on over to this other thing, that, that emotional part of you. So anyway, that could be that. And don't forget, learn from the past. Okay. Go a little bit deeper here. absolutely beautiful it's the best card in the deck i adore this card and so what this is saying is you are indeed dealing with this you're gonna get rid of it it's gonna be gone and you're gonna replace it with a beautiful abundant content happy feeling this is the one where it's like let your light shine which is wonderful. You said you can't get better. So maybe, hopefully, that Eight of Swords is a very short-lived moment in your life. Okay. And we have the Magician, which is coming out under the Knight of Wands. And the Magician is all about taking your magic and you have it all with you. You don't have to go anywhere and get it. Using that and practicality to bring something, whatever it is that you're wanting, to life. So if we are focused on this, then it would just be saying, you have everything you need to deal with it. You don't need to go anywhere. It's all within you. Okay, let's see what else. Oh, the Ten of Wands. Okay. This is also, it can be seen either way. It could be seen as a negative or positive. I think it's a positive. I mean, don't get me wrong. Carrying heavy burdens is hard. So yes, whatever it is that you've been going through, emotionally, physically, any combination, is very challenging. But the wonderful part of this is you're dropping those burdens. You're getting rid of them. And I can tell you, that should bring great relief to you. And that could also explain, you know, if, if this is, it seems to be, but if this is the card of the focus here, this would be saying, yeah, you're dealing with it, dropping it, getting rid of it. We're going to go ahead and take an extra one so we can have an even number here. Beautiful. And then you're going to take a rest. Oftentimes this is referring to this one sword being you've reached a milestone. You finally, I say finally, you know, finally could be a day. but. You've reached this one point in your life where you can stop and take a rest. Meditate, relax, enjoy time with friends and family or yourself. Whatever it is, it's time to take a break. Okay? And at the bottom of the deck is temperance, which talks about you wanting harmony and balance in your external environment. So as much as I'm really not wanting to, and I'm really not wanting to, I keep going back to this card. It's, you know, this is an ending, and it's a hardship. But I keep focusing on this. And I can see how all of this could relate to that one card. Okay, I am going to focus on that for just a minute. Again. Okay, you have this 
Eight of Swords. Lots of heavy thoughts to the point that you, you know, it's making it a challenge to do anything without thinking about those, right? And the Knight of Wands, maybe this is your energy. It's a beautiful energy. Or maybe it's somebody you know. And if it's somebody you know, maybe you trust them and you're communicating with them about it. Don't know. But you're using your Queen of Swords energy. Remember, this kind of has an influence and this has an influence. Removing yourself emotionally and looking at this objectively. And when you do that, you can reframe it and put it down. Get rid of it. Move on to a much better way. And you use your magic and practicality to do it. So you drop this pile of burdens. You get yourself this wonderful new start, which is the sun. Absolutely beautiful. Can't get better. Which creates this wonderful balance and harmony in your life. And you feel very satisfied, very abundant, very content. And so you work through this issue and you can take a rest. Okay? To me, it makes perfect sense. It doesn't have to work this way. It can work any, you know any way that you perceive it, but that's what it's saying to me. You're figuring out how to deal with that. And you know, in a lot of readings, this could be just like a blink of an eye kind of thing. But for some reason, to me, it seems to be a central focus. Maybe it's because of this card right here, this temptation card. You know, um, temptation doesn't always mean things like uh, drugs or, you know, illegal things, stuff like that. Temptation can be anything that you perceive it to be that is a negative, or it could be a negative and then you realize it's a negative, that kind of thing. All right. So that's probably what's making me, you know, connect these two. Because that, that's really the only negative thing I see on here. And this doesn't come out that often. And this has learned from the past. So maybe this is saying you've been here before. Either that or this will become something that you use in your tool belt. So if you get to this point again, or, or you start to, or you can feel a beginning, you know, maybe there's where the elephant spirit comes into play, you will be able to catch it and say, nah, nope, not happening, you know? So you don't have to go through a process. You just say, no, uh, -uh. I am replacing this negative thought with a positive or a neutral, something like that. And, you know, there are negative things that happen to people. Mm-hmm. And if it is something that's challenging, well, you, you know, you still need to deal with it. But a lot of things, not everything, maybe everything, debatable, but many things, it's all in how you see it. So see from your heart and look at it objectively before attaching an, an emotion to it, especially, a, you know, if it's a negative thing, okay? And you end up with this very best card in the deck. And you end up with harmony and balance, which is what you were wanting all along. And so this wonderful nine of earth or nine of pentacles prevails. I am so glad this is your overall energy for the week because I think it's definitely helping you. All right, let's get a few cards from the universe and see what they have to say. Well, that was about 50. The Emperor. 
Okay. The Emperor is a very stable, influential decision maker. How's that? Um, and maybe you are adopting a little bit of that kind of mindset. You know, I can see the Queen of Swords or the Swords energy having something in common with this. Establishing structures and foundations from which your success will grow. So maybe you are saying, okay, when this thing happens, this is how I'm going to deal with it in the future. You know, you deal with everything as it comes, but to start off with this new foundation in place will serve you here. Okay? All right. Now let's see what else the universe would like to add. Huh. Okay. Now you have the Eight of Cups. Somewhat similar to the Six of Swords, but different. Here it's you're going away from a place that doesn't serve you to a place that does serve you. Here, this card is saying that you have done all you can. You can do no more. And so you, you are moving on to a better place, to a place that makes you happy. Okay? So again, that could be attached to this. It could be attached to something else as well. Um, this could be potentially just an isolated little bump in the road. Okay, it doesn't mean this whole reading is evolved around this. It just seems to be my focus, and, you know, there might be a reason for that. But, say if this isn't the focus, there's something going on, could be a temptation, that you are moving away from. You're ending a cycle, walking away to a better place. And no matter what it is that you're walking away from, you're walking into something beautiful. Okay. Let's get one more card. Well, we have a flipper. <laughs> Page of Cups. So, this would make sense too. Either way. Pages are novices. They're new at something. They're youthful. And you can be um, a master of one or many things and a page in something else. All it's saying is that you have not mastered whatever this is yet. You're in the learning process, all right? And now the Page of Cups is learning how to connect with others and have healthy relationships. So I could see this easily being you. You're walking away from something that does not serve you and into this new beautiful energy that's filled with abundance, happiness, balance, and harmony. So you could easily be a page at it, learning as you go. Okay. I actually think this is a very good reading. The only negative card here is this one. And this could, like I said, potentially be just like a blink of an eye. It could be a very short-term moment in your week. But you are going through an ending. And I would think it would be that, but it could be anything. You're laying down these heavy burdens. Getting rid of Mr. Temptation there. And having a brand new beginning. Filled with everything beautiful. And balance and harmony. And you're using everything in your tool belt, your strength, the truth, to get this change that you need and want. And you're plenty strong enough to do it. Okay. 
I think this is uh, going to be potentially a busy week and a very transformative week. And whatever negative has been in your life, it looks like you're going to be able to use whatever you have within you to get rid of it and then to replace it or bring in this new very, very nice energy. Okay? Just remember, learn from it. Okay? And keep that happy, joy, joy energy. Let's get a charm, and I never look, so I don't know what I'm getting, and I have a feeling I'm getting something. Yeah, okay, I'm getting a whisk. <laughs> there are a few cards or charms here that just slay me. Um, you know, okay, not seeing it as a whisk, but you know what it looks like to me. You laid it next to here, it looks like the wands, the heavy, heavy burdens. You know, if you cut off the top, there you'd have it, this group of heavy burdens. So maybe that's um, the universe's way of saying, yeah, you're addressing this and you're going to be done. But because of that, because it totally does look like that to me, I'm going to take another one. See if we get something else that we like. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do think that's what that is. It's symbolizing the Ten of Wands, the ending. And here's what you have now. Live, love, and laugh. Beautiful. Okay. I hope this was helpful. Have a wonderful week. Much love.